used, the Cyclops, is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. sound of the Cyclops. Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James and we're starting things off today by building the Cyclops and this thing has everything, even comes with its own storage and it's basically a giant mobile base. We're going to have to get some upgrades because this thing can only drop 500 meters and our Seamoff can also only drop 500 meters so I need to check if we've got any mods that we can actually stick on this or if we've unlocked any of the mods to put on to the Cyclops. And in order to do that we need to build the vehicle modification station. And we do have the blueprint for that. I'm sure it's just going to take some electronics and that will fit into our moon pool. So we'll just dock the seam off. So. I want to explore a little bit deeper than the Degasi base today, but in order to do that we're going to have to use the modification station to make the Mark III upgrade on the Seamoth. I want to do this vehicle upgrade console as well, and we're going to need I think some microchips in order to build that, so let's get that crafted. and. I do have some Cyclops upgrades, but none that's going to drop us below 500 meters. I think perhaps if we go back to the Aurora, the original crash ship, now we can get into the captain's quarters. Perhaps there's something in there, but today we're going to have a look a little bit deeper. So I need some copper wire. Okay, we need to make the vehicle modification station, and that can only be placed inside the moon pool. This will allow us to make a few upgrades as well to our vehicles and customize them. So we're going to do that and customize both the Seamoth and the Cyclops. Hey, let's make the uh, vehicle console. Okay. So this has to go in the moon pool. This is going to allow us to actually paint our Seamoth. Okay, like it. I've named it after one of the greatest ships, Starbug One. <laughs> and we need to stick the upgrade on as well. Don't know if you know the reference to Red Dwarf. I noticed there's some new ones out actually. I don't know what they're like. If they're worth watching, somebody give me a shout down below. But they always made me laugh. The classic Red Dwarf. Okay. So now we can go down 900 meters in the Seamoff. Or Starbug 1, as we're going to call it. And if that's Starbug 1, well, then we have to christen our ship and give it a name. And I think we'll take it out for its maiden voyage next time because I'm not too sure if I can get the next depth module yet. So let's turn the lights on, or the outside lights. Okay. There 
so we got the engine efficiency mod, but that's all I've found so far. Take some extra batteries with us. Um, let's give it the name. There we have it. The Red Dwarf. Okay. So, I'm just going to go and show you guys because the Cyclops can only drop 500 meters and it doesn't appear that we've got any of the other mods. We're not going to be able to take it out this week. But, I think if we go back to the Aurora, there's some stuff in the captain's quarters that we need to go and look at. So I'm going to have to head back there, go and check out what's in that room. So that means we're taking Starbug 1 out and we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. Just get some more water. We'll go hunting for some resources as well. What we're looking for is we do know that the alien base, we do know that a piece of the alien base has broken off and has dropped to the bottom of the ocean. Here we go, Cyclops upgrades. So we don't know the depth module for Mark II. Haven't discovered the ingredients for that yet. And so on here, this should be a fabric. Uh, yeah, here it is. So here we go, Cyclops upgrades. So we don't know the depth module for Mark II. Haven't discovered the ingredients for that yet. And so on here, this should be a fabric. Uh, yeah, here it is. So there's a fabricator on here as well, but I'll probably make an extra storage module and. Perhaps we'll experiment with the torpedo systems next week, but yeah, the perimeter defense, the sonar we might use at some point. Uh, we'll experiment with some of these another time. Okay, just chop up the power before we go. I almost forgot we did put these eggs down in the containment facility and hey it looks like they've hatched so here we go looks like there we go two of the cuttlefish oh and I know we can release them but um, I want to see if we can find any more there is actually five of them but so we'll try and release them back into the planet for now, they're safe enough in here, away from the virus. Well, no, they're probably not because they're in the same water, but hey, you know. Sorry guys, we brought you into a world and it's doomed. <laughs> but we'll try and find your brothers and sisters before. Okay. So hopefully we'll have some power when we get back and the cuttlefish will still be alive. Okay, so this takes Starbuck 1 out. So last time we headed out to the Degasi base, we could only drop 500 meters and it was a bad time. This time we've got the stasis rifle and we're not restricted by how far down we can go. So I thought it was in this direction but um, let's just get rid of some of the other signal locations so I don't get confused where we're going. I'm sure it is that way. Hmm. Sometimes messes about, sometimes you lose the notification. I'm sure it does it on purpose to get you lost. <laughs> Especially at night. It's the... I have got it selected, haven't I? The one that's at 500 meters. Yeah. Let's just put it on again. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So we'll just go to the Degazi habitat. Okay, here we are. It's 
So yeah, I recommend coming down here with the third module, actually, even though it does say it's 500 meters down. That made it more difficult. At least this time I've got the stasis rifle. There's a data pad there I missed. I think I actually need to go check inside there again. I might have missed something else. It's quite dark. Oh, but I actually just want to head deeper. Is it warpers? Hopefully he doesn't transport me out. Yep, he did. Things get angry. Let's get my... I should have my stasis rifle on my hotbar. Let's just get that out. I actually need this. So, this just freezes anything. Gives us time to get away. Even works on Leviathans. Okay, well. Where is it? It's just... Have I scanned a warp yet? Yeah. Let's just scan one. But yeah, ugly looking creatures. With robotic parts. Mm. Okay, let's just repair this. Okay, well let's see if the uh, warpers follow us down this way. And... I think we're going in the right direction. Yep, this is one of the entrances to the Lost Lake. There's some really cool looking jelly rays down here. They make some really cool noises as well, some really cool sounds. So this is kind of like a bile on the top or in the water, just sort of floating here. I'm not sure if we can scan this bone. Let's try and... Can we? We can't. No. There is some materials under here. In fact, I think I can see a piece. We will take damage if we go and grab it, but... Only a little bit. Let's grab it. So it's just some sulfur. Materi new materials that we'll come across here. I'll just keep it on the inventory, I don't need to put it away. Crystalline sulfur. So that's where we're going to have to find that. Okay. Let's follow the Lost River, see where it leads. There's some, just some little cracks and tunnels running off to the side. Might be able to find some nickel ore as well, which tends to be a bit rarer than one of the more end game materials. And there's some there, I think. Yeah, just here. So we'll start collecting it now because we are going to need it. Okay. Rubies. Ooh. That's a pretty big skeleton. Scan it. Looks like it was held down by one of the alien things. It's ancient. Maybe the aliens on this planet were studying it as well. Okay. There's a facility up there, but I need another key to open that one. So we'll have to come back. Scan this. Yeah, I'm just going to keep an eye out for some more nickel. So I think I'll grab these rubies because I'm nearly out of them. Yeah, we can always do with more quartz. Yeah. I 
I just heard something that did not sound like it came from a jelly ray. So I'm just going to proceed with caution here. There it is. Heard it. Okay. Ah, and there it is. Okay, so that's a ghost leviathan. And I think it sees us. So we better get out of here. Yeah, it definitely sees us. Um, believe it or not, this one's just a juvenile. And... Oh, right. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's coming through his brother pretty quick. Let's kite around this way. Actually going to get out of the seam off here. Try and freeze it. Because I need to get past it. There's a squid coming as well. Is he coming back this way? Ah, oh, great. Okay. Let's try this stasis rifle. Should be able to freeze it. It should be able to freeze it. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, no power left. Just have to exchange a battery. So right, let's just get out of here. Oh, squids. Let's just get past it. Now we've got it. Okay, we'll back off and try again, I think. Yeah. It's got three. Squidward spoiled the day. Just swap some batteries around. We'll try that again. It's not following me. Okay. Right. I think I've got his attention. To go careful on that. Only 50% left. Okay, that should hold him over there. Long enough for us to get past. The size of this skeleton here just goes on and on. Well, I guess the Ghost Leviathans have got to feed on something. Just loads of remains, ancient creatures laying around. I think this looks like a sea dragon. I have a skeleton remains. Let's see if it is. It is a sea dragon skeleton. Okay. And the way the bile just sort of pours into the lake. Okay, I wasn't looking for this, but this is probably my favourite area in the game. <laughs> and I'd like to build a base here, but it's it's almost 900 metres down, but it's just sort of crying out for it because I think it's even got the thermal vents. This is the giant cr cove tree. Warning. I just think being around the jelly rays and this giant tree, right in the centre of this tree, I better repair my seam off, right in the centre of this tree is an egg. And we'll just scan it. It's a ghost leviathan egg. They take hundreds of years to hatch and that will explain the little juvenile one that we had to get past. That's about as deep as we can come. And there's the egg. One day that will hatch. 
I love that they put that in there. I love the fact that this world has a whole ecosystem and that everything was thought of. It just gives off a natural light. I don't know, maybe I should build something down here. There's not much more we can, and like I say, look, there's the thermal vent. It's just, it would be a, a fantastic place to build, I think. Okay, just following these alien structures. I think it's going to lead me to what I'm looking for. I haven't been down this way. And um, yeah. So this looks like the piece of the research facility that fell to the bottom of the floor. This looks broken. To have to the sea floor. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find an opening. Side though. Okay. So it looks like we got a console. I did bring one of the tablets with me, so I can unlock this. Okay. Perhaps we'll find out what went on. So we've got this special in research. Just gonna scan everything here. Take the ion cube. Okay. Here we've got I think this is a sea dragon egg, yep. And we'll scan the ray specimens. Search here. Damage report. Integrating new PDA data. This might tell us what happened. Ooh. Okay. Check that out in a second. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Okay, we've got the corona contagion the profile. The bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Okay, we best do a self-scan. Yeah. It's like these warpers are kind of assembled here. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Okay, well... Gonna have to get that fixed. Oh dear. Okay, the virus is getting worse. Right, let's just scan this. What looks like a baby sea dragon. Okay. So this research facility has ended up at the bottom of the ocean and there's a baby sea dragon inside. There's also what looked like a big sea dragon skeleton which appeared to have been crushed entirely by one of these structures. So let's have a look at some of the data that we just grabbed. Um, Okay, self-warping quarantine enforcement unit, okay. The lifelon shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and polymeric systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around its body. So these warpers were assembled at this facility as quarantine enforcers. Um, damage report. 
Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed, exterior ankle cable impacted with massive force, exterior ankle cable buckling at facility sinking, collision with C4, breaches detected in containment facility 7, Leviathan egg immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. Okay, so everything was destroyed, looks like mama came looking for her baby. Okay, just briefly go over the Karar contagion profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as the Karar. Discovered first encountered during a routine network exploration on outer worlds. Pandemic development network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. So, this was set up to study the Karar virus. Uh, this entry seems to reference a common peeper, shows no immunity to infection, death commonly occurs within four days, shows symptom remission on exposure to M sign 42, but the symptoms quickly reoccur, shows advanced learning behaviours, shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other species. Leviathan embryos. Adult specimens too large to study in containment, egg specimens acquire for nesting site, embryos show no signs of immunity, death commonly recurs within three weeks, small sample of eggs has been retained for continued high priority research on leviathan hatching mechanisms. Okay, off-site established study the remains show some potential for the immunity to the infection but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Okay. So the answer for the cure, it would appear, would lie within the, the Leviathans, and they're young. I guess the aliens just took one of the young, and the mama came to get it. Sounds kind of quite similar to what Margaret done with the Reaper Leviathan. I know that Bar from the Degrassi was studying these creatures, probably studying for a cure, and she grabbed the cute creature and towed it back to the Degrassi habitat. So both the Degrassi and the alien species on this planet know that the cure lies somewhere within the giant sea dragons but both of them just did end up taking the species for study well perhaps we'll have to go about it a different way and I love that they put all of that in the game as well I just think that's a really really nice touch so it would appear that there's another off-site facility and it doesn't give us any reference as to where it might be. I think that we're going to have to think about getting back to the Aurora and the actual ship next week because I'm sure that if we go in the captain's quarters now that we've got the code, perhaps we can get some upgrades for the Cyclops and drop down. But we're going to have to go even further than 900 meters. I'm also going to build the prawn suit because I need to start mining and gathering some resources. I know there was a load of copper that I could grab just in the mushroom games beneath my habitat. So we need to equip the Red Dwarf with everything that we're going to need to come down here and effectively make it a mobile base. Could experiment in building a base, in fact, near the great tree cove. Could do something small there. I'd like to do that at some point. Maybe as a bonus. It's not essential that we do. I just think it'd be a cool place to build. So there's the Degasi habitat. I do need to go back in there and have a little search around. I'm sure I missed something. I think I missed a key in there that we can grab. But I'll come back and get that next time. I just want to get back to the base. Certainly a lot easier getting around in the Seamoth 
once you get the depth module. But it looks like the sea dragons have something to do with the cure or this enzyme has something to do with the cure. So we're going to have to drop deeper down and see if we can find this other off-site facility. And I think, let me know down below if you think I should perhaps build an extra base near the giant cove tree. Because I really like that area. It's just... I don't know, it's just really lit well by that giant leviathan egg. And it's just the uh, the jelly rays as well. They kind of, they just sound really like relaxing. So I just think it'd be a cool place to have a base. We get in now. Yeah, it looks like the power's gone out while we've been away. That's the thing with a bioreactor, you do have to keep feeding it. And let's just grab ourselves some lantern fruit. We need to eat something as well. Do we get much? We don't get much water back. We get a little bit of water back. Let's just grab some more to put in the reactor. Oh, we got some water. I actually had some on me anyway. Okay. Let's just put some land and fruit in here. That's the one problem with a bioreactor. You do have to keep it topped up. Okay, so next week, I think we'll definitely have to look at grabbing the prawn suit. And I'll just get myself a coffee. And we could also do with going back to the Aurora crash ship and checking out the captain's quarters. I suspect maybe one of the Cyclops upgrades is in there, but we'll have a look at that as well. There's plenty of upgrades to be done. I do need to mine some more tree. <laughs> Great. I love that coffee. I wish my coffee machine would do that. My kettle. I don't I don't I don't know, but that is some future tech that we need. Let's have some crisps as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you're enjoying the content so far. And I think let me know in the comments down below if you think building that second base would be a good idea. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.